T minus 20 seconds and counting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Stage one propulsion is nominal. As you can see on your screen, we've had a successful liftoff of our 14th electron launch from Pad A at Launch Complex 1. One of the first launch milestones we'll come up against is max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. What this basically means is this will be the point where Electron will undergo the maximum mechanical stress during launch. Pass through max Q. Entering shape front two. An electron has Entering successfully cleared two. max Q. AOS Chatham Station. Next up is Miko and separation of electrons first and second stage. Miko, or main remaining. engine cutoff, means the nine Rutherford engines on stage one will power down ahead of stage separation. Once we've had a clean separation of the stages, the vacuum optimized Rutherford engine on stage two will ignite stage and continue to propel the Capella payload to orbit. Speed is two kilometers per second, altitude is 53 kilometers. Five seconds to Miko. Separation. Stage to ignition. Successful separation and stage two ignition confirmed by mission control. All systems are continuing nominally. At T plus three minutes, we're just seconds away from electrons fairing separating to make way for payload deployment. HVB battery discharge nominal. Fairing separation. And there it goes. You can see electrons fairing falling away from stage two. Guidance is nominal. Stage 2 propulsion is nominal. If you're just joining us for this launch, we've had a successful liftoff stage one burn, stage separation, and ignition of the second stage vacuum optimized Rutherford engine. Velocity is currently 10,000 kilometers and an altitude is 152 kilometers an hour as we approach battery hot swap in approximately two minutes.
A quick update from Rocket Lab Mission Control. Electron's second stage burn continues nominally as we approach 5 minutes and 0 seconds into flight. 230 seconds remaining, altitude is 180 kilometers, speed is 1.7 kilometers per second, and guidance remains nominal. Stage 2 propulsion is nominal. HVB battery discharge holding nominal. As we mentioned before, in about a minute, Electron's next action will be to perform a battery hot swap. As the pumps on the Rutherford engine drain the power of the high voltage batteries on board, an instantaneous sw switch to a fresh battery is performed to keep propulsion nominal. Hot swap successful. Yes, and there goes the collective sigh of relief with normal. confirmation of a successful battery hot swap. Stage 2 propulsion is holding nominal. 100 seconds remaining. AFTS has saved. In another minute and a half or so, the engine on Electron's second stage will power down. Shutting off the engine at this point will slow down the vehicle slightly before final stage separation. From there, the kick stage will ignite its Curie engine and propel the Capella payload toward its targeted orbit. Payload deployment will mark the end of this mission, which will occur around T plus 60 minutes. We'll be ending the broadcast shortly after we hear the call for successful SECO and stage separation. 50 seconds remaining. HVB discharge is holding nominal. Twenty seconds remaining, guidance is nominal. And seeker confirmed.